Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of April. Okay, so this is the 23rd through the 30th for the sign of Cancer. Thank you for your patience. Things are stalled right now. Halt. At a halt. Something's going on. But it's not going on really. Something isn't working. So you could be dealing with somebody that's dishonest or, you know, there's just a lack of communication here. All right? Some sort of lack of communication. Somebody could be being really stubborn. <laughs> no forward movement. Something is happening here. So somebody could be stubborn. Somebody could be... Um, staying put wherever they're at okay they're not there's they're staying in a situation they're staying somewhere there's like a staying power no nope, i'm not moving i'm staying i'm staying right where i'm at but there's a loss of communication hmm. Ooh, you could be dealing with somebody who's very stubborn and hot-headed, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Yeah, they're, that's, this is, uh, no, I will not budge. I will not. Very hot-headed, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Refusing to move forward or to even speak the truth, okay? So somebody is, there's a complete halt. You know, weakness, weakness, lack of strength, lack of courage, lack of confidence, ego, pride could in, be in the way, but somebody knows their worth, somebody knows what they're worth, somebody loves themselves, somebody is Gained a lot of independence and a lot of wisdom. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of confusion as well. Somebody is confused. All right, interesting, Cancer. This is very interesting. Let me make sure this is zoomed in as I forgot on the last one. Okay. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is holding back from telling the truth, perhaps, or opening up. You know, somebody is ignoring the truth, for sure. Ignoring the truth, okay? Somebody is pretending, wearing a blindfold, keeping the blindfold on, sitting on the fence again. You have a decision to make, but they're, but stalling in regards to the decision because it's a painful one, right? There's a painful, difficult decision on the horizon, and this has to do with self-worth. It has to do with self-love. It has to do with independence. It has to do with worthiness, okay? I feel like there's some, some kind of uh, heavy burden that someone is carrying around and because... You know, there's care here. There's loving care. Somebody cares too much. There's there's a lot of loving feelings here. But they may not be being reciprocated, okay? And so somebody may be thinking, you know what? I'm worth more than this. I know what I'm worth. I do. I do. So somebody is, is holding on to something when they know that they need to let it go. Okay, holding on. I know what I need to do. I need to let it go. So, this Two of Swords is, uh, there's a lot of opposition in the, the need to face your fears. Somebody's in denial and they ha they're going to have to face their fe fears instead of just stalling. Instead of staying put in a situation because, you know... Somebody is staying, I can't budge, I can't move, I can't do anything because I, you know, I care too much. I really care too much. These, these feelings that I'm feeling, 
feeling are real. So I feel like it's causing it's causing some stress. It's causing some internal um, damage. Okay. So, but this 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 stance. Somebody is keeping this stance that is not helping them internally. Okay. It's causing a lot of stress. And I feel like you're being called to remember what you're worth. Okay. This card is about um, enjoying the finer things in life. It's about um, abundance and gratefulness. Okay. And it can also signify that the storm is just about over. But somebody is going to have to stop holding on to an obsession. Okay? To get their security back. This is also a card of independence. You have the ability to take care of yourself. You do. But for many of you, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to take care of myself. But you can, right? You do. You do have the skills. So I feel like somebody is holding on to an obsession for one because they don't want to be alone even though they have the skills to be alone I just don't want to be alone you know there I feel like you know this is this is a painful decision do I you know do I do I stay where I'm at or do I go and face being alone so that's definitely a big deal I feel like There's a lack of togetherness. Somebody is about to get caught. Okay, they are. The truth is going to come out whether you like it or not. Even though somebody... The truth is probably already here. The Ace of Swords reversed. The Seven of Swords reversed for the Two of Swords. The truth is here. Whether you like it or not, you can't deny it. You can't deny it even though you're trying to deny it. And it's making you really sad. There's sadness here. Unhappiness. Because you're dealing with a situation or a person where there's no reciprocation. There's no compromise. There's a lack of communication as well. Big time. And the truth is here. Somebody is about to get caught or the truth is about to be revealed or it has been revealed. That could leave somebody on their own independent. Even though they may not want to accept this truth. Okay. Whew, there's definitely some negativity around, okay, there is, because you're dealing with an obsession. You're dealing with somebody that is only interested in the financial aspects of what you have to offer. And you are being called to complete this cycle until, you know, you've learned something from this. You have, but you need to stop pretending. Somebody is absolutely pretending. And we have the fool right next to the world card. It's, you guys are about to embark on a new journey, but you have to have the faith. You have to take a risk. You have to end one cycle so that you can start anew. So I feel like you guys are about to end something, whether you like it or not. Something is going to end so that you can start on your new journey. You have a new beginning right in front of you. There's no doubt. Okay, you need to look at this as a time of liberation, a time of freedom, a new beginning. You have a new, a major new beginning, both of these cards right in front of you, because wherever you've been, there's been a lot of unhappiness and untruthfulness as well. Somebody hasn't been honest here. I think there's going to be an end of a contract. There could be a split. There could be a breakup. And this is a very difficult decision, isn't it? It is. It's difficult to face your fears and begin again. And I think that you're very indecisive for fear of being alone, growing old alone. But where you're at right now, there's a lot of conflict. There is. There's a lot of conflict. And you're being called to have faith. And accept the truth. 
even if it hurts. Because you can't live in sadness. You can't, right? And you can't be used for financial gain because that's what it looks like, like is happening. It's time to realize. It's time to focus on your future. It's time to get moving quickly. Do something about it. You have to release. With endings bring new beginnings. This is release. The death card. Something needs to leave. You've been dealing with somebody who's not being honest with you. They're not putting in effort. You know it. There's a lack of communication. And you're holding on. I think it's you. Could be you. Could be the other person. It's holding on to something that is stale. And you're being called to take action. And make this most difficult decision. It's difficult and painful. I know it is. But for one, you don't deserve to be in a third party situation. If you are, you may not be, but there's a chance of it. You don't deserve to be used for money or a roof. Especially if somebody's not putting in effort and they're not contributing. This is a release. This is a transformation and you, you can't deny it when it's time, it's time. There's a transformation, a change, a big one, Cancer, on the horizon. But you are going to have to take action instead of stalling and holding on to something that is dead and stale. You've learned something big through this situation, this phase this lesson that you've just learned, yes, you've learned something really big, but now you're calling, you're being called to start over again elsewhere because the contract that is ending or has just ended is, is too conflicting. There's too many arguments. There's too many battles. And if you would be patient and wait, the right one is in sight. But you got to let go of the obsession. This isn't, you have to let go. It's a challenge, isn't it? It's a challenge to let go of the obsession. Whoever or whatever this is you're obsessed with. But this is destiny. It's, it's, it's time for your new chapter. You can't fight destiny. You can't fight fate. There's a new beginning, there's a new chapter, there's a new phase. The wheel is spinning now. It's time for a change. Good luck is on its way. There's a change of course right in front of you, Cancer, and it's a beautiful one. You could call this a lucky break. It is. This is a lucky break. It is. This is a time of liberation. It's a time of freedom. It's a time to... Bring your abundance back, what's been lost. Enjoy the finer lives th things in life. No longer let whoever this is that's holding you back hold you back. You must release it, even if it means that you're going to be independent. I don't think that you'll be independent for long. I don't. There will be a new offer that comes right in if you would let this go. You're dealing with a really big talker here, somebody that is very emotional, and you're being called to stand up for yourself. Follow your intuition. It doesn't lie. You know, I feel like this is, this is um, you are going to be receiving a message, and it's probably not what you want to hear. It could be about this person, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio, or Pisces could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I do feel like you're going to be receiving a message and it's not what you want to hear, but you're about to hear it because you, it's time for a change. A change, of course, is on the horizon. There's no doubt about it. There's too many conflicts. There's secrets. You're dealing with somebody who's very secretive. Could be Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But somebody has secrets. They're not telling the truth. And you are being called to stand up for yourself and stand your ground. Because if you don't, it's going to lead into disaster. Okay? You're, you're dealing with somebody who is very easily distracted. 
um, they're aggressive and they, they play off as the victim. I'm help, they're helpless. They're holding you back. It will end in disaster unless you do something about it. There's a lot of confusion here, and I know that you're confused by this. But it's time for you to let it end. Let it end. I know that this is hard. Let it end and bring, make yourself become alive again. Bring that livelihood back that you once had. You do have the skills to be happy again. You do. To feel abundant, to be prosperous, to enjoy life. Look at this as a time of inspiration and independence. Don't hold on to somebody or something that is dishonest, not reciprocating, perhaps even cheating with the Seven of Swords. You're dealing with a dishonest situation and you're holding on to it when you know you shouldn't be. There could be a breakup. This is, a, this is no more commitment. And with the lover's car reversed, there's, I feel like there is some sort of break on the horizon because there's no more content. There's discontent. There's lack of commitment here. So, you know, I feel like this is a the end of April. It's about coming to grips with what you know you have to do. To bring back your abundance and your security and your stability that's been taken from you. Holding on to an obsession is going to get really heavy and old. And you have a new beginning right here being offered to you with the world card, the wheel card, and the death card. Those are universally guided. You can't change destiny. If something isn't meant to be, it's not meant to be. I feel like something is over. It is. It is. This is a Ten of Swords reverse. Something is over, it's, it's, but you're holding on to it. When you have an opportunity to move forward and look at life through new eyes, different eyes, this is a time of liberation. It's time for me to go out there and find my true destiny. So I feel like this is a period where you have the means to become alive again. You do. If you would stand up for yourself, accept the truth, get off the fence, take the blindfold off, and follow the plan, the destined plan. As long as, as long as you try to control destiny, you will suffer. If, if you know it's not meant to be, stop holding on to it. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. And you do. I see that. That's why you're holding on. Because you care so much. I understand. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and the order of the universe. Like I said, this is universally guided. It's time for you to receive what you deserve. And whatever or whoever you're dealing with ain't given. 
and you're wasting your time. You have a new opportunity right in front of you, around the corner. But if you are telling the universe that you're still holding on and they know, then you have to wait. You have to, you have to get to here first. You have to love your singlehood. You have to love your independence. And when you do, it will come rushing right in. But if you're still dealing with a situation that is incompatible, then you've got a ways to go. Talk to you later.